Hello everyone, in this video we'll talk about biosurfactants. So let's break the term. Surfactants are molecules that can lower the surface tension between two liquids and they have hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail. So they are amphipathic molecules. And here biosurfactants means that these surfactant molecules are derived from bacteria or funguses, which are biological sources, right? And that is the implication of biosurfactants. So in this video, we would look at what is, what is the function of biosurfactants? What are the sources of biosurfactants? What are the advantage and disadvantage of biosurfactants? And what is the use in industry? So biosurfactants have the ability to accumulate between fluid phase and thereby reducing the interfacial tension. Just to give you an easy example, imagine there is some oil floating on a water in a petri dish. Now if we add a little bit quantity of biosurfactants, we would notice that oil is now dispersed as if it works like an emulsifier. So let's try to understand this in better way. So these biosurfactants can accumulate between two fluid phases and thereby forming micelles. When their concentration increases, they form micelles. So they would trap the oil inside these micelles and these micelles have this hydropho hydrophilic outer surface which can easily get dissolved into the water. So these uh, oil which was not miscible now gets totally dispersed and kind of mixed with this fluid. And in order to understand the consequence, we have to understand it in a bit more detail. So see here, there are the two layers, oil and water. But once we use the biosurfactants, the lipid molecules are now trapped inside these micelles and they are kind of like dissolved into this fluid. This same principle is used in cleaning of oil spill from oil rigs or from boats in the ocean. So these oils which would be floating around in the ocean, this would be super harmful for these aquatic uh, animals and plants. So that is why removing these oils are absolutely essential. And one of the way is to provide these biosurfactants. Biosurfactants would kind of emulsify them, form small micelles, and it would be easier to pump that oil out, oil mixed with water out, and then the, em the emulsion can be broken and oil could be recovered. So this is a, one of the most efficient way by which biosurfactants can recover oil, not only from the spillage, but also think about the uh, oil industry, where crude oil is extracted from the rocks and there could be some petroleum product which is deeply rooted in the pores of these rock and our oil pumps cannot really pump it out. In that case, if you put biosurfactants, everything would be nicely dissolved and it would be way easier to extract it. So for both oil extraction and oil spill clearage, biosurfactant is very important. Now biosurfactant can be derived from different sources. Several fungus like Candida antarctica, Echinobacter, Bacillus, Pseudomonas originosa are good source of biosurfactants. There are many popular biosurfactants which are of very uh, industrial use such as uh, Ramnolipid, Trihalose lipid, Surfactin and Manosyl erythritol lipid. All of these are very common biosurfactants which are used in day-to-day -day industry. For example, Ramnolipid have an antimicrobial property and that's why it is used to coat the surface and prevent microbial biofilm formation. Another biosurfactant such as fengicin is used for its antifungal property and it can prevent fungal infection of crops and that is why it can also work like a biopesticide. Other than that cyclic uh, lipopeptide or CLP lipids are used in oil to increase their efficiency. Then lipopeptide biosurfactants are used in banana farms and it, it has a strong insect repellent activity. So obviously it is another example of biopesticides. At least we have understood that biosurfactants can be used in many different 
aspect in industry and also in agriculture. Now, cosmetic industry are now employing biosurfactants to make shampoos, creams, etc. Because biosurfactant has a emulsification property, and that is why they create biosurfactant. They use biosurfactant to create these emulsifications. So that is how they are used in uh, cosmetic industry. The good side about biosurfactant is they are green, eco-friendly, and they are also sustainable. Then, the disadvantage part is the initial production cost could be high right now, but with the increased usage of biosurfactants and increased demand, the production cost can be modulated and can be brought can be reduced eventually. So, biosurfactants have a lot of advantage in terms of their usage. So I hope this video summarizes and gives you a quick overview about biosurfactants. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and do let me know in the comment how you like my video. Thank you guys.